beer from the Hook Norton Brewery down in Oxfordshire and this is their 12 days. It's a strong ale coming in at 5.5% ABV. Christmas beer. So yeah, beer in a glass. It's a very kind of dark ruby, yeah, mahogany, very dark mahogany colour. Gone for a pint for a change. Um, I've not seen this on, uh, on cask down my neck of the woods here in the Royal Victoria Pavilion, uh, Weatherspoons pub. So the biggest pub in the UK by all accounts. Anyway, let's get an aroma. Dark fruits for sure, plum, raisin fig. Maybe a bit of brown sugar touch. Mm, smells really interesting. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Real nice kind of figgy, raisiny, slightly sweet. Pretty much was is a little bit more in the flavour than the nose. The nose is a little bit subdued. Um, this is pretty fresh. I think they put it on literally just before I ordered it. They were doing little cup tasters and see if it looked okay. So um, yeah, I've actually got this in a bottle that I'm going to review at home, and I might combine it with um, at the end of this review. I'll cut this and then it will go to the review at home in the bottle. So. Anyway, back to the cask version. Very smooth mouthfeel. Not really picking up much of the ABV at 5.5%. Um, I don't know what kind of ingredients they've used in this. I'm not sure the IBUs. Um, it's not listed on untapped. So um, there is a commercial description that I'll go into now because I'm actually using my camcorder so I can freeze up my phone. So this is a strong dark brown beer offering a dominant pale, uh, multi palate with a nutty overtones giving way to a lyrical sweetness that speaks for itself. Very vague there um, for the commercial description. Hopefully I can find a little bit more information and I'll put it down below as well as hopefully on the bottle there'll be a little bit more as well. But yeah, back to this beer. See if I can pick anything else out. It's just, yeah, it's, it's a very, there's a slight resininess about it. Um, not too much in the way of spice. It's more about the dark fruits for me in this beer. A lot of these Christmas beers, winter ales, Christmas ales, dark ales, they're all kind of like, a bit like that, especially the darker ones. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm finding my, I've not had that many Christmas beers in, in say the last, well since ever really, even when I was really drinking a lot of kind of cast beer, I kind of used to avoid them. But now I've, I've, I've tried one or two more last year and a few this year and I'm starting to really like them. So I'm kind of making the most of them being available because obviously you get to past Christmas and then they kind of fade off a little bit. So, so yeah. Anything else on this beer? No, not really. Not overly sweet. Um, it's got a, a reasonable medium body. It's not, not too over the top. It's not too chewy. It's not too weak. Um, it's kind of a mid-range beer. So, as for a rating for cask then, um, I'm going to give that I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10, it's, it's pushing an 8 but not quite, but we'll see how the bottle goes in a moment and then, yeah, I might actually try it tonight and then I'll, I'll put it after this review, so if you carry on watching, if you want to find out how, what I think of the, uh, the bottle version of this beer, then it'll be on in a minute. Thanks for watching this part of the, the review and hopefully you'll carry on watching. And uh, anyway, if you don't, fine, I'll see you on the very next review. Cheers. Right, 
this is the bottled version then from the Hook Norton Brewery, they're 12 days. So yeah, 5.5% again, tried it on cask. I can't even remember what score I gave it, it was yesterday so I've done this over two days. I think I gave it a 7 out of 10 on cask. So. This has got a best before 24th of August 2018. Got this one at Beers of Europe. <coughs> Thanks to my f my friend Dan who goes once a week and brings stuff back. Not every week for me, but he goes every week. So yeah, <coughs> that kind of ruby, ruby kind of looking beer. Looks very similar, colour wise. Poured a half a finger of yeah, just off white head. Let's get an aroma then. Very, very kind of dark fruits on this one. Although it was only like yesterday, I can't remember the beer. Memory like a sieve. Dark fruits. Plum. Raisiny. A little bit kind of... Uh, Yeah, maybe some uh, red grapes or... Mm. Let's give it a try. Cheers. Oh wow, okay. So a little bit more aggressive on that last part. About a one finger head. Um, I have to say, so far, this has got a little bit more in that flavour that I was picking up on the cask version. It's really good. There really is a nice spiciness about it. Well, it's very still very smooth. There's a little bit more bite. Just it lifts it a little bit, especially when you've got the beer in the palate. Mm. I have to say, based on what I've tried, there's a slight sweetness coming through now as well. Cask was very nice. Um, but for me, I think the bottle is edging it. I can't remember what, what rating I gave it. So I'll probably give the same rating. But if I do give the same rating, I prefer the bottle. So I'm going to give this... <coughs> it's probably the best uh, Christmas beer I've had so far. 12 days. Strong, dark and rich. Handcrafted in the Cotswolds Hills since 1849. I love that kind of bit of artwork and that stuff there. Really cool. Like a red leg partridge in a, in a pear tree. You know how the song goes. Um, I'm saying it's a dark brown beer offering a dominantly multi palate with nutty overtones giving way to a, a, a lyrical sweetness that speaks for itself. Cheers. J.W. Clark, Great Norton. The great great grandson of uh, John Harris, founder of Hook Norton Brewery. They're on Facebook, uh, Twitter, they've got a website, and I'm sure that they are on Instagram. I'll put the link down below. So, for me, so far, what I've tried this in a bottle is it's an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 beer for me. Um, really enjoying this one in the bottle. It, I think it's definitely edging it so anyway if you've had this beer before um, let me know down below in the in the comments um, yeah I'm really enjoying this check out my Christmas beer playlist it's starting to gather a little bit of pace over the last couple of years now more this year than last year but there's a few other beers there um, and yeah check out my British Real Ale playlist playlists everywhere thanks for watching then and I will see you on the next review cheers